Jason, talk to us about um, traffic. It's, uh, to talk to us about traffic. Is the, is the backup just for miles now? Uh, well, I, I can't tell you how far the southbound traffic's backed up. Northbound traffic here obviously backed up into downtown Atlanta. The southbound traffic's going to be backing up back into DeKalb County, back towards the area of Claremont Road, Shallowford Road, and it'll get worse than that. Uh, as long as this stays closed. And I can go ahead and tell you right now, just from my experience in watching this, once this fire gets out, this road won't be reopened immediately no. because look at the flames licking on the yeah. side of that yeah. bridge there. They're going to have to inspect this bridge and all first before they can get this reopened. So even once this massive fire gets put out, it'll probably be a little while before they get this road reopened. So folks just need to keep that in mind. Right. Um, there's really no way around this as far as the interstates are concerned with the Buford Spring Connector southbound being closed as well. Peachtree Road through Buckhead is really going to be the best bet for anybody trying to get from the north side of town into the midtown or downtown area right now, Justin. That's right. Probably yeah. because part of Piedmont will be shut down because they need that area to be able to work and maneuver and, and access the fire and the flames that we still have burning right now. This has been going on for a while. Jason, I know you're going to stay with us. You see cars there sitting. Those cars are going to have to somehow be redirected at some point. I, I don't Yo, know this how. This is a snowball, as yeah, you all know well. This is a snowball. I don't know how police are going to handle that, getting those people off the bridge who are near it and probably, and we're just praying that there are no cars in that smoke. We have not been able to see the roadway yet, and we're just hoping that whatever happened under this span of I-85, you know, you just hope that it happened when there were no uh, cars passing over the roadway. So we're going to stay with this breaking news. We are working to get information. We know that our newsroom admin, she says that she can see this from Memorial Drive. And then also people on the campus of Emory University can see it as well.